it's no surprise Alaskans pay twice as much for electricity compared to the rest of the country. In rural areas, up to three times. So the state is hoping to change that with the help of renewal, renewable energy like geothermal. But as KTV 11's Alexis Fernandez tells us in part two of our series, Alaska's Fire and Ice, it's proving to be a lot more difficult to find. In Alaska, fossil fuel keeps the lights on. Gas provides nearly 58% of our electricity, oil about 15%. But green energy is on the horizon. In many cases, renewable energy is uh, more cost effective than the existing infrastructure. Sean Scaling with the Alaska Energy Authority is in charge of overseeing Alaska's renewable energy fund created by the legislature. Their mission to fund green projects across the state. Their goal for Alaska to get 50% of its electricity from renewable energy by 2025. Well, the biggest four types of projects that we see are um, hydroelectric, wind, biomass, and heat recovery. Hydroelectric accounts for more than 20%. Wind power, about 3%. Focus is now on geothermal, heat that's generated from the Earth's core. The steam can be extracted through deep wells, then used to turn a turbine to generate electricity. This energy is usually found along major plate boundaries where earthquakes and volcanoes are concentrated. Alaska has four potential geothermal regions, but pockets can be hard to find and expensive to develop. The trick with geothermal, just like any of the other resources, is you have to find the resource find it in abundance, make the energy um, cost effective, which also means it has to be close to a population base. So far, there's been no luck finding this energy near Anchorage. Another challenge, our communities aren't connected. In Alaska, there are very few transmission lines and almost all the communities are uh, have their own separate diesel generation. But the future is looking green. People in Nome are hoping to build the state's second geothermal plant to create electricity for the city. This could carve a path for others to follow. The state legislature has spent more than $200 million through the Renewable Energy Fund on 227 projects. The first 62 are expected to save the state more than $1 billion over their lifetimes. Now, we've told you about the challenge of geothermal in our state. Tomorrow night, KTVA travels across the pond to find out what Alaska can learn from Iceland.